I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my website, Global Math Institute, and the YouTube channel. Now, this YouTube channel is absolutely free. I'm very happy that many participants are participating actively. Here is a question from one of our subscribers who wants to understand the solution of this trigonometric identity. We need to prove that 1 plus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta is equal to secant theta plus tan theta whole square. Well, some of you can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, whenever we have identities, we could actually prove from either side. So uh, let me actually begin with the left-hand side. So let us say we start with the left-hand side, in which case we'll begin with what is given on the left side, which is 1 plus sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta. Sorry, 1 minus sine theta. Now we have to get a relation in secant and tangent. So it's a good idea to think about multiplying and dividing by 1 plus sine theta, right? So what we can do is kind of rationalization technique, right? So let's multiply and divide by conjugate. Which is 1 plus sine theta. So in that case, what do we get? We get the left-hand side as equal to 1 plus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta, correct? Now in the numerator, we get square of 1 plus sine theta, correct? And in the denominator, we get 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. It should be both plus, right? We are multiplying divide by 1 plus sine theta and 1 plus sine theta. So that is 1. So when you do that, you get 1 minus sine squared theta. Now what is 1 minus sine squared theta? Well, it is cos squared theta, correct? So I could write this as 1 plus sine theta whole squared divided by cos square theta. Now we want to show that this is secant and tangent combination. Both have cos theta in denominator, right? So that suggests something that we could write this as 1 plus sine theta over cos theta whole square. Now individually, if you write this as 1 over cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta whole square, what do you get? Well, what you get is secant theta plus tan theta inside, right? 1 plus cos theta is secant theta and sine theta over cos theta is tan tangent theta. So what do we get here is equal to secant theta plus tan theta whole square, which is right hand side. So once you have shown that left hand side is equal to right hand side, then you have proven the identity, correct? So that is the, con that is the concept. Well, you could have started from the right hand side also. So let's also see what happens if we start with the right hand side, okay? So this time I'll prove the same identity starting with right hand side. What is given to us as secant theta plus tan theta whole square. Now we can expand this. We can write this as secant square theta plus two secant theta tan theta plus tan squared theta. Now, you can write in terms of sine and cosine. 
So, so what we get here is 1 over cos square theta plus 2 times secant is 1 over cos theta and tan is sine theta over cos theta. Right? Here we get sine square theta plus cos square theta. So what you find is that cos square theta is actually common in denominator. And therefore, in the denominator, we could write cos square theta. And in the numerator, what you get is 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine square theta, right? So we get 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine square theta, which is definitely 1 plus sine theta whole square. And the denominator, cos square theta, can be written as 1 minus sine square theta. And now we can factor the denominator and cancel 1 factor of the numerator, right? So that is 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta. Now you can actually cancel 1 plus sine theta and what do you get? You get the right hand side, the left hand side, which is 1 plus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta. Is that clear? So it is equals to left hand side. So you can actually begin from the right hand side and also show that is equal to left hand side. So either way, you could actually solve the identity, right? Adopt the method which best suits you. I hope that is interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.